the truth of the matter often is that we, meaning lawyers, find out about the causes of disease before doctors do. And, and I'll illustrate this uh, with, a, with, a quick, uh, with a quick story. A few years ago, a group of women from Brooklyn came to see us and they all worked as beauticians uh, in an Italian neighborhood in Brooklyn. And all six of them had kids born with birth defects. And even more striking, three of them had kids who were born with a very, very serious thing called a malignant hemangioma. And that's a disease where the blood vessels in the skull start proliferating like a cancer, and it, uh, if untreated, it can become lethal. It causes blindness, terrible injuries. And we looked at this and said, my goodness, three people, all beauticians, all with the same really unusual disease. And as it turns out, they were all being treated by the same doctor because uh, there aren't that many specialists in New York who treat this disease. So I went to see the doctor and I uh, gave the doctor, you know, authorizations to show that it was okay to speak about these cases. And I said, doctor, this is a doctor at NYU, very, very fine uh, a professor of medicine. And I said, do you, do you know that three of your patients all diagnosed and treated with the same disease? parents worked in the same profession. The doctor looked at me and said, you know, I'm embarrassed to say that as a pediatrician and as a specialist in blood diseases and cancer, I don't really ask about parental occupation. It's just not in the list of things I'm treating these people. But that's amazing. So this doctor went and started asking the questions and came back to me and said, I'm just astonished because I found five or six more of my patients who were all working in the same field. And by the way, in asking the question, I also discovered that a lot of florists have kids with this problem because apparently they spray chemicals on the flowers to keep them from wilting. And so that what was very interesting, and then this doctor went the next step and spoke to colleagues in Boston and Milwaukee and asked the question. And lo and behold, there's an association, and it's a serious and important thing to know between this uh, awful disease and, and, and occupational work of moms in, in the beauty industry and in uh, uh, working with flowers. Now, this isn't junk science. Uh, these weren't even lawsuits at the time. But we were able as lawyers to bring to the doctors information that was slipping through their net. And I don't say this to criticize the doctors, but the truth of the matter is that this idea that there's uh, you know, something cynical going on or that lawyers and doctors can never work together in a good way or that lawyers have nothing to contribute to this process is absolutely uh, false. And uh, again, uh, it's in the doctor's hands. They're now doing the research that they need to do. But lo and behold, the impetus for that came from, from lawyers.